What is up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to hack your Xbox 360, run homebrew, unsigned code, all that good stuff. Now what we're going to need to do first is download a couple files. So the first is going to be from this GitHub page, it's going to be Bad Builder. Now this is going to put mostly everything you need on the flash drive for you. So I'm just going to download Bad Builder AMD64, uh, download whatever is going to work for your computer. And once you have that, we're also going to download Aurora. Now Aurora is going to be a custom dashboard that we'll get into a bunch a bit later, but just make sure you have that downloaded and extract that uh, package into a folder called Aurora. Now once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and run Bad Builder. I'm just going to run it as administrator to make sure we're safe. And we're going to go ahead and build exploit uh, USB. So make sure your device is plugged in. We're going to go down to removable. And it's going to go ahead and ask if you want to format your device. So make sure anything you have is backed up as it's going to be lost. Uh, so go ahead and press Y. It's going to go ahead and format the device and then it's going to ask us what files we already have. In this case, we don't have anything downloaded. So we're just going to select enter and it's going to go ahead and download everything we need for us. So give that a second here and I will be back with you in a second. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go and select XE Unshackle to be launched. It's gonna go ahead and copy the files over that's needed. Uh, this will just take a second here. And then it's gonna ask us if we wanna add any homebrew. Uh, we're gonna select no, because we have Aurora that we're gonna install ourselves. And so now our device is ready to go. So now that that's done, we're gonna take our extracted Aurora folder, we're gonna copy it, we're gonna go down to bad update, we're gonna go to apps, and we're gonna paste in our Aurora folder. And now that that's done, we're gonna do one more thing, we're gonna open up our launch.ini folder. Now this is gonna be what is launched every time you run the exploit and your console is turned on. So we're just gonna go down to default and we're gonna change our default dashboard. So we're gonna type in USB colon uh, forward slash apps forward slash Aurora forward slash Aurora dot XEX. And we're going to go ahead and save that and now everything on the computer is done so now I will go see you on the Xbox all right now that we are here on the Xbox we're just gonna go to my games make sure your USB device is plugged into the Xbox and we're gonna go over to rock band blitz now this is gonna be the game that actually is uh, exploited uh, with a buffer overflow um, so once this loads up we're just gonna press a to run the exploit now this only works about 80% of the time and it can take anywhere from you know 10 seconds to a couple minutes. Uh, on some instances it will freeze. Um, if that's the case, you know, just uh, restart your Xbox and turn it back on and try again. So we're just gonna press A to start. We're gonna select our USB device and it's gonna start running the exploit. So I will be back in a second when this is done. All right, it looks like it was successful and XE Unshackled is loaded. All right, it's gonna give me my CPU and DVD key. We're gonna go ahead and blur that out and we're gonna press back to exit and it should boot us into Aurora if done correctly.
and there it is. Now, this may take a little bit longer uh, the first time you run Aurora. I've already run it on this Xbox once, so it's not going to take as long. But for you, it might take a little longer. Uh, just give it some time to run, and once that is ready... And right now it's just showing Black Ops 2 because that's the disc I have in. Um, you can definitely put your own games on here or you can just uh, rip the DVDs directly into Aurora. Um, there's, gonna, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do that. I won't go into that specifically. Um, but yeah, once you're in here, you can definitely do pretty much whatever you want. So what I'm going to do uh, to start is we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to content. And we're going to add a path. And we're going to go down to our USB. And we're going to select apps with Y. And we're going to click save. Now what this is going to do is pull all our apps. Uh, so in this case, I only have Simple Man Flasher and Aurora, which we're already in. Um, you can definitely uh, install more such as Dash Launch, um, XX Menu Apps. Oh, I need to put that in as well. So we're going to go to Add, Change. Oh, no, we're going to go to Add, Change. Go back down to USB, Content. And we're going to select Code. And that should add XCX menu. Now from here, like I said, you can put some games on your USB. Um, I'm not sure if putting it on your hard drive is going to work. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't actually. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back with my games. And a lot of people have been asking me how to play Black Ops 2 DLC 5. So I will have some links to download that in my uh, Discord if you want to join that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that on this Xbox to show you that it is possible to play all those uh, maps on a retail Xbox. So I will see you when this is complete. All right, we are back and I did put all my games that I had on my RGH onto my hard drive of my retail Xbox right here. And as you can see, you can just select whatever one you'd like to play. Um, see, I do have Black Ops 2 with DLC 5. We're going to run that here in a second. Um, if you do need the download links, I'll have that in my Discord. And if you do need some help, I will also do the best I can to help out in my Discord. So just reach out and join that. Uh, before we do anything else, I am going to run Simple360 NAND Flasher. Uh, just to dump my NAND real quick. That is really important to do. Um, we're going to dump this real quick by clicking X. And it's going to produce a bin file. Um, just go ahead and put that onto your computer. Um, if anything does happen eventually to your uh, Xbox, you can re-flash uh, your uh, NAND, and that is going to be a lifesaver. So that's done. And again, there's going to be a bin file. Just go ahead and throw that in a safe space on your computer. And now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and just load up Black Ops 2 with DLC 5 to see if it does work. And I'm going to go to File Manager and we're going to go all the way down to default underscore mp underscore cheats.xcx and load that up. And then we're just going to go to Zombies. And as you can see, we have a different screen. I'm just going to go here to local. And the globe, we're just going to select some random map. And then I'm going to click left trigger and the back button at the same time. And it should allow us to pick whatever map we'd like to play. 
So in this case, um, place a moon. So you're going to click start to select that and then LT and back again to get rid of that. And then just go ahead and start the match and we'll make sure it loads up. And just like that, you have Black Ops 2 DLC 5 and the pre-alpha versions on your Xbox 360 retail version, as well as a mod menu that has come with this. So let's see, God menu here, no clip, points, anything you can think of. So honestly, this is a game changer for, you know, Xbox 360 games. I know they got rid of the marketplace, so now you can save all those games that used to play back in the day as well as mod them and do whatever you'd like so i'm just going to provide a little bit of gameplay in the background and again if you need any help join the discord and i'll see you guys in the next video uh-huh <laughs> yeah god damn she got a face but she don't want anyone and all she hit me up like come out to my place but she just wanna keep it on the low, low, low Only call me when it's late Yeah, why you only call when you're alone? <laughs> not mad, nah, I really can't complain Cause I got you and your beautiful soul Hey yo, I need that, need that She be calling me for feedback, feedback You could tell them I'm the best girl and really mean that Like, how you gonna find something better than we had? You don't gotta be a mean girl, low hand Let me take my time with it, slow dance You know you fucking with her Take your ass to Italy, I call that romance Under pressure like queen, look at what our potential could be You've been messing with bench players, I'm the best in the team I'm a Hall of Fame player when it comes to the D So you don't gotta make it complicated, Ava Levine She got a pretty face, but she don't want anyone and all She hit me up like, come out to my place But she just wanna keep it on the low, low, low Only call me when it's late, yeah, why you only call when you're alone I'm not mad, nah, I really can't complain I got you and your beautiful soul Okay, and now I'm feeling so Jesse She is trying to kick it with a Leo like Messi If your ex-man got a problem, he could test me I'm a good fella, Joe Pesci This is not a threat, it's a goddamn promise She don't like